So the plan now is bed the damp on, get the doorway set out, get a couple of course on. I'm gonna measure that down now, multiply it by how many courses we've got on this side. Thank you, Alex. Reinforcements. <clears throat> Good Tuesday morning. That's what we got up to yesterday, which is uh, disappointing, but that's what happens when your stuff arrives late. We were hoping to get to damp yesterday, but we are three down on the front and the course of block on the back. So Alex just brought a few more brick round. He's going to get a mix in. I'm going to get the hole drilled out in the corner there for the profile to go on. And then it's off and away. Get running this in. Decide where the door's going. And crack on. So like I say, we can get up to there before we need to start to the which is going to be tomorrow when we bring the trestles in. And then we've got the, the pipe to build tomorrow. Tiny winds to go in here. We've got a shower cubicle going here. Jason's popped by today, so we've got an idea what's going on. Shower cubicle 760, stud, toilet, stud, door, pillar. So we've got to make sure these pillars are decent sizes because it, as you can see, that's, that's all that's tying that into there. Obviously put screw ties in every three. But then you have a small pillar, then a door. So it's just to give it a bit of strength. Run a decent sized pillar between the door and the window. Because obviously you've got the door swinging on it. A little tiny window and then brickwork here. Yeah, we're supposed to be reusing the window that came out. Which is there. Obviously the way up. But um, that's, that's getting, getting rid of that now. And I'm going to get a smaller window. So that's the plan. Mix in. Get get Brit Lane.
over right now. This is leveled up. Board's ready for after break. Damp course on top of that, and away we go. I'll, um, what I'm going to do now is just work out my gauge, as I showed you before with the laser. There's our mark up there. Let's see if I get it right, it's about there somewhere. I can't tell on the camera. I'm going to measure that down now, multiply it by how many courses we've got on this side. So. Fifteen ten. So fifteen ten back on here brings us to this course below the two. There, that's fifteen ten to there. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen courses. So fifteen ten is eighteen courses. So get the trusty phone out. Fifteen ten divided by eighteen equals so eighty three call it more or less eighty four mil per course, which is bang on for us that. Yeah. So as we got there, eighty eighty four mil per course. And then when we get to ten, we'll double check it that so it's eight three, call it eight three nine, so we'll double check it at ten courses that were at eight three nine. Down. Tens are out here, so there you go. Ten courses, eight three nine. That's just our double check point. Obviously, these have got to come off. So yeah, I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. I was in a bad way yesterday. I don't know if the fell did my leg in, but both legs were bad yesterday. Yeah, feel a lot better today. A lot more, a lot better in my head. A lot more positive. It was a bad night last night after brew. <coughs> now I've got a doctor's appointment, so I've got to be away in half an hour. So the plan now is bed the damp on, get the doorway set out, get a couple of course on, and then he can just rattle on with it. Thank you, Alex. Reinforcements. So um, yeah, get this damp on and crack on. And get that line of with it. We'll bed the damp on. We'll have to now, show it on camera. Um, should I get this course blocking? There are cuts. So there's no rush for that. Okay. You just crack on with the base work. Where is the damn surface? I'm going to just put them in, I'm just putting them in the bricks as normal. The iron. Um, that end, every three. Well, is it just going in the beds of the bricks? Um, no, you have to measure. Measure your gauge, and if it, if it hits, if it doesn't, if it goes above a bed, you have to put it in the perp. Oh no, it can't, can we? Because look at the tire, see if you can twist one. So it's 84 mil. You still got that knife? It's out somewhere, yeah, it's ready. Oh, to cut it? Cut it to size. Ah, apologies. Um, I don't know where the knife is. It's out, it's bright green one. Did you buy the fence? Uh, I don't know about you, but if someone came and put a, a very clean leaflet through my car window, oh, that's the last thing I would... Uh, He's desperate. Why would, I, why would I employ him? That's what I think. I wouldn't think the hustle's real, I'm sure it's hustle there. I'm sure it's a mark this out. Quick tip. Okay, that's the tip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I was just unwound it to uh, mark it and cut it, and then I wound it back up. Thinking we hadn't put the bed on, but Alex just did it right, so I'm I'm interfering here. So he's cutting it now. We're going to take it off, bed it on, for all you people who would like the uh, damp course bed it on.
Is this on right? This line? Yeah. Because I can't lift it. It's, it's probably just tight. No, it's not tight. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do the notes. Yeah. Just keep space. I think the line's stopping it from moving. Oh, I know. Um, with your bed there mate and just smooth it out Side note, real quick as well, before I forget. As you can see, we've had to reduce, we've had to move the doorway over to make room for this window that they want going in. So, as you can see here, that is like not much. It's like a hundred mil piece. It would be going up there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the block 
and we'll get them to stud it instead because just 100 mil pieces of block all the way up isn't going to be as strong as a continuous stud so that's why we're leaving tie wires out on that side we're uh, going to get it studded instead there's still screw ties going in you can just about see the plug there you go you can just about see the plug so the screw ties going in every three quarters and they're alternating between this side that side every so often that'll be that and then you stand it every three for the opening, every six for the regular. So before you come attacking me for the tie wires, I uh, I know what I'm doing. Okay? I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to set you back up. I've explained everything. Dad, if you want to make a time marker when this is, so if anyone tries to complain, just pop it on the time marker whenever this will be in the video. And they can come and see me explain to them that the ties are in, they're being left for a stud wall. There we go.
five past two. It's nice and quiet, not that quiet. It's very windy. So bear with. There we go. We're up to window height now. Because this is the kitchen window. That's the height you want. Inside kitchens, bathrooms, utility rooms to get your worktops in. That's your height. So we're going to copy that height. So we're going to have a shower cubicle off here, which is going to be 760. Then a stud, and then a little bit of brickwork. So it's worked out great thin window, but we're going to have a brick and a half pillar here to keep it as big as possible for strength. And then we're going to lose this piece now. And that's where it worked out to, so we're going to push that this way. So that works brick. So the window's probably going to be around about 300. But it's purely for ventilation inside the WC. So it doesn't have to be massive. So that's our guess. It could be changed tomorrow. But um, that's where we're going to put it and see how it goes. So like I said, it's going to reduce to brick and a half. And then it's going to come to here. So that'll be one, two, three, four and a half bricks here. And we can carry on up. Just under half a mix left. So um, see how long that takes us. Um, we're going to do um, what we did when we worked with Tony and the lads down at A and E. Get me through here, and we're going to cut every other coarser block to fit the tie wires, which we've all, which we've forgotten. Mm -hmm. um, we forgot the tie wires. Now the right. Now the right, yeah. Where's your tie wire as well? Enjoy it. Lap it up. This is because this is this because we're not pretending we haven't missed them. We're, we're honest. We've missed them. Right. We missed three tie wires, so that'll be rectified in a minute. We're going to hear the end of that now. <laughs> no. So um, we're not going to get this all to scaffold out today. I, I had to go for two hours to the doctors. I had to nip off yesterday to get stuff. So at least we've got a f just the two of us full day at it tomorrow. We're going to take it up and then it goes up at another 10 courses up there and then comes down on an angle like that and that, that'll be just thrown up to near enough and then adjusted when the roof goes on i think what we might be best doing for, uh, for the moment maybe not i was going to say just like work face at a time not all the way up yeah but then like can't put your lintels on can you yeah You've got to level up at lint light, so oh, yeah, the I've murder lift. Yeah. Mm. And we're gonna we've discussed this. I don't even mention this. Purlin's coming off there. I'm gonna take this panel out. Do what we have to do. And put the panel back temporary. Just put a couple of screws in at each end. Once we're done, I mean, anyway, it doesn't have to go back in, but we will. And also that window's gonna be blocked up. That's another job to do. But again, that's under that's under cover. That so if the weather breaks, we've got something to do inside. And still a coarser block to go in here. We're going to leave it out around the door, even though it's the timber floor. The timber floor can go into the doorway. So, um, it's a bit of a work in progress. There's no drawings and just a couple of ideas, so we're working blind, really. So all this you see here might be, might be changed slightly. <laughs> see, I wanted, I wanted the door further that way, so I did a bigger pillar here. But it would have reduced that window even smaller. I was explaining to him that there's a put that we'll get a stud going here instead of 100 mil pieces on. Yeah, it's a waste of time putting 100 mil pieces there. That's it. Get the radio back up and get this get this up as high as we can. And then just got the block weight to drop on then, which is already loaded. And as you can see, it's, it's glorious out there, and it's glorious out there. We've got. Um,
Only 5% left, so let's make this quick. There you go. Bit, uh, bit more progress than this morning. I think this time yesterday, Dad did only just like start to get in this corner up, so I think we've made a much better use of time today. And uh, the bricks actually look quite nice, I've got to be honest. I wasn't too keen seeing them uh, all stacked up, but they look quite nice. I, I'll stand corrected. But tomorrow will be block work and then get trestles set up. So, uh, see you tomorrow.